welcome to the, uh, I think this is the sixth part in my Minecraft Builder series. And in this one, we're going to be doing interior design. Now, interior design can be done in a lot of ways. And it can be done uh, differently for each way, too. It just really depends on people's style. Now, <clears throat> for interior design, what most people do is they have, like, basically either big rooms that are too big for what they're going to put in it, and they just can't really do much because there's not, it's hard to do detail in Minecraft since everything's in blocks and there's not exactly a lot of different things. Um, but there is mods that can help improve that. For example, the Better Than Wolves mod has, uh, basically little parts of blocks that can be used as edging around stuff. Um, then there's like the decorative mod and some others too. But basically, it can all be done in different ways, and it all just depends on the person's style. Now, one thing you can do, this is something that's pretty neat, and most people overlook, and yes, this is grass blocks, and you have to use embedded to get them, right there, it's like an object, and pretty much what I like to do for some interior, is just to fill up some space, some grass blocks now. We'll go. Let's try not to make it to where there's too many. We'll just do that. That looks good. And then trap door. All around it. And it looks like you have a planter. And you can always put tree like trees and or not trees but flowers in here. And actually, I'm not 100% certain on this, but I believe if you put like trees, uh, trees in here, like plant trees on these, they won't grow because the ceiling is too low. So, you, I uh, believe you can use those too, as long as your ceiling isn't really tall. Um, but that basically is just a little planter. And then another thing, most people already know this trick, but take wood stairs and then put a sign on the end of them and it looks like a little couch and then this is just like books for like a reading area and this is in the town hall of the town we were in earlier and later on in the video I'm going to have an example of like what a most common players home would look like like a starting home like a little home and how you can fill that up and make it look cool now this is going would be like the kitchen. Now kitchens aren't normally that big. There's not a whole lot you can do with them. Uh so I tend to just do something of this sort. Now this is a little bit smaller than I normally would do. But um that's just kind of how it is. I think it's which furnace is it? I think it's this one. I'm trying to get the one that doesn't have flames when you place it. Basically, you um uh, We'll put a little furnace here. We'll put a couple furnaces. And then, to make like a refrigerator, you need the iron block, which I can't seem to find. Or you can use wool, any color of wool, if you want to make your fridge really weird colored. I can't find iron blocks. Sorry about not having this already in my inventory, it's just I had forgotten about the fridge until just now. I probably passed it like a million times, but anyways, I'm just going to use white wool, because it's close to it. And to do like a little refrigerator, I should, probably shouldn't have placed the furnaces there, but I will. I'll probably have to rearrange this later, but anyways, you do that. And then, take your button, and boom. A lot of people know about that, but that's just to make a little cheap refrigerator. It's pretty cool. I like it. And then also, you can put chests in here. And there's like a little basic kitchen. And then, now, I had a bunch of extra space. I didn't want to make the kitchen too big, and I didn't want to have to fill in with random crap. So what I did is I did this little outcropping hallway. 
in this little hallway that comes back here, and it looks pretty cool. And then you walk back in here, and this is, would be like the little barracks or bedroom or something of that sort. So let's get beds in here. And we just have beds along in here, and it's just a bedroom. Now, a bedroom you can't really do much with in Minecraft because there's no dressers and crap. So you can just have paintings. And trying to get one. That's cool. Put a painting there. And. Come on. Break. There. There. And we got another painting. That's just a little something to think about. And one torch isn't really sufficient, in my opinion. So I'm going to place another one right there. You have a nice little, little bedroom. And that's another way you can get through um, making your bedroom a little bit more interesting. Um, you can also get more creative and make a dresser. Uh, I'm just trying to think of how I did that before. I think it was like this. Here, let me show you. I need my buttons back again. But I think it was like this. Do you too wide like that? And two buttons like that. And you got yourself a little dresser. It's not the prettiest thing, but hey, it's Minecraft. Um, but anyways, you would put flowers in this, just clearing that up. And then also, paintings are great. If you can get one that doesn't hit the ceiling. There. Paintings. They just liven up the place. Now up here. This is basically a much smaller version of that. And you just put flowers on it. And they look pretty cool. Now this. I really have no idea what it was. I just need something to take up space. So I'm just calling it a mini bar. And it would go up like that. <laughs> Something like that, and you got yourself a mini bar. Now, in here would be the storage room. Now, this may be kind of big for a storage room, but you can never have enough chests. So, oh, and I forgot about that. Let me just get iron bars. Now, since it's indoor, I don't want to use windows because that just looks kind of dumb. But iron bars from 1.8 look amazing. So I use those now. And now this roof actually isn't tall enough. So I'm going to go ahead and mine this out a little bit. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, um back and what I did is basically just mine this one up. So then I could uh fit two layers of chests in here. Basically, what I like to do is do that because it looks pretty cool. And then in between those, I'm just going to use wood planks for this. You would have that running up, and it looks like a, a really fancy smancy storage room. You're not going to want torches in there because you can always place signs back here and label what's in what crate. Now I might go through and replace this back wall because having one thing of sandstone and one thing of uh, stone bricks doesn't exactly look very pretty. So I don't really like that a whole lot. And then we will have one more layer, or one more thing of chests. And that's pretty much how I usually make my storage rooms. And then on each one of these, I usually place a torch. But that's pretty much how I make my storage rooms. Now I could go all the way around. And then like on this wall since it's all windows. I just do something like this. And not really worry about building it up. A whole lot. And then just have some chests like that. Except for on this wall I might not put at that there. I'd actually do that. And on this wall for part of it I'd at least do that. So then we'd have maximum amount of chests in here. We'd actually get even more. By just putting... Or no, you can't actually do that. Never mind. Because, uh, the roof is in the way. So that doesn't work. But anyways, that's 
some quick tips about interior design and another thing you can do is for staircases run a thing of fence all the way around it now I'm probably going to have to move these planters or something but anyways that's one thing you can do for uh, staircases is put fences around the tops of them if they don't have walls because it just sections stuff off and it looks pretty good I really like this second story it's a lot more space consumed and it looks better than downstairs but hey who cares this is minecraft you can do whatever you want in it but anyways that's basically some quick basics of interior design now I'm going to go build the house a build a simple square house that most people start off with in a survival map and show you how you can decorate that efficiently you could probably figure it out on your own but hey I'm just going to show you some example for the better good. So, that's basically the basics of interior design. And I think now would be a good time to show you the basic interior design of a basic starting house. Okay, well, I didn't actually build another house because I remembered I had this small square house over here. I still needed to do, so I figured, hey, let's just decorate it up like a basic um, home. Now... I'm going to hope I don't go for too long, but I think for now, I'm going to get, I'm going to pause it, and then I'm going to pause the recording at least, and then uh, re figure out how I want to set this up, and I probably will go ahead and go and build all through it, because I already showed you basically all I'm going to use in it, so uh, let me get this built, and then I will show you basically how I would design a basic starter home in Minecraft. Okay, um, I finished the basic interior of a basic starting house. Now, this may be a little more fancier than most people do, do at a starting house, but, hey, who cares? Uh, there's, I basically, I did the little kitchen thingy again. Except for, I don't think there's actually as much detail in this kitchen. Or it just, it doesn't look right to me for some reason, I don't know. But I didn't want to sit here and spend all day trying to make something look pretty. And then now we have two chests down here for storage. And then this would be like my blacksmithing area where I would smelt stuff. And actually, I just realized I forgot the most important part of a Minecraft house. And I feel kind of stupid for it. But basically, I forgot my workbench. God, it's pathetic. But anyways, we go upstairs. And yes, there is no roof on here. I forgot to put the roof on uh, earlier, and I didn't feel like doing it right now. So basically, I did a little wall-off kind of thing, and then put some, bedroom, some beds there. And then I just put a few more chests for some more storage. And that's basically all you're going to have in your basic starting house. And it's basically all the necessities of Minecraft. Now, one other thing you might have is back here, you might move this workbench to somewhere around here. But you might have a opening right here for some stairs that go down and to and start a mine shaft of sorts. But I didn't want to do that because I'm not going to have a mine shaft in here. So, anyways. Thank you for watching this tutorial of interior design, and I have no idea what I'm going to do next, and hopefully I will be able to think of something. So, until next time, thank you for watching, and tell your friends about me, because it would be appreciated, and bye-bye. Uh,